My name's Lucy Couchen and I'm the Sustainability Manager for Futamura. We manufacture cellulose films based on wood pulp sourced from managed plantations. Our NatureFX films are certified for both industrial and home compostability. This short presentation is focused on industrial composting and more specifically on EM13432, the European Industrial Composting Standard, which describes the requirements for packaging recoverable through composting and biodegradation. Other standards are available, but the fundamental requirements are the same. There are four key elements required to demonstrate that a packaging material is suitable for composting in industrial facilities. Each of the tests is undertaken according to internationally agreed test methods. The lab results are compared with the pass-fail limits in the standard. A material needs to pass every requirement to prove that it is compostable and eligible to carry logos such as the seedling, TUV Austria and Inserco logos. A test house will carry out the tests and the certification body will verify the reports and issue the certificates. The first step is characterisation. Here the constituents or components of the packaging material need to be evaluated. The organic carbon content, dry solids and volatiles also need to be determined. A total absence of heavy metals is not possible and so pass levels are provided within the standard. An infrared spectrum would also be required by the certification body for future verification purposes. The biodegradability needs to be determined for each significant organic constituent of the packaging material, where significant means greater than 1%. In addition, the total proportion of organic constituents without determined biodegradability cannot exceed 5%. The controlled aerobic composting test ISO 14855 should be used, although alternative methods are available. The test is carried out at approximately 58 degrees C and the pass level of greater than 90% must be achieved within six months. For the disintegration, the packaging or packaging material needs to be tested in the form it will be used. The controlled pilot scale test ISO 16929 should be used, but a test in a full scale treatment plant may also be accepted. For a successful result, after 12 weeks, less than 10% of any residues remaining in the compost should be less than 2 mm and there should be no visual contamination of the compost. You can see in the image that the metallized NatureFX film has essentially disappeared after 6 weeks with no residue remaining after 12 weeks. For the ecotoxicity and compost quality, there should be no negative effects on the quality of the resulting compost. The compost needs to be evaluated for various parameters such as salt content, pH and elements or compounds such as nitrogen, phosphorus and magnesium. The compost obtained at the end of the disintegration may be used for the ecotoxicity tests. Here, tests on the germination of two plant types, cress and barley, should be carried out. The tests are based on OECD 208. For a successful result, the germination rate and plant biomass should be greater than 90% of the blank compost, as shown in the example. If you need any further information, please contact Futamura using the contact details shown.